Mysterious species buried their dead and carved symbols 100,000 years before humans. This post received a score of 13,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Incredible to imagine the difficulty mapping and exploring the place. What other finds might still be down there somewhere? Greater than passageways like Superman's Crawl, a tunnel measuring 131 feet 40 meters long and 9.8 inches 25 centimeters across, requiring the researchers to belly crawl their way through. Yeah, nah fuck that. Yeah, no fucking way lol. That story of that kid that was crawling through those super narrow caves makes my stomach crawl still. Can't even think about doing stuff like that. Literal nightmare fuel. I used to do things like that in Makokoda Caves in Iowa. I don't think I'm capable of it now, but there's something strange about it. It was probably me trying to prove myself now that I'm thinking about it. I just looked it up and it says permanently closed. Damn. This world is weird. I think the caves are closed due to the bats having that disease that's killing them. Unless it's gotten better? White nose syndrome is what it's called. Their noses turn white and fuzzy and they wake up in the middle of their hibernation cycles and they all individually fly out into the wilderness by themselves and get lost and can't find food and die. Ah, Colombian white nose syndrome. I've had that before. Definitely messed up the hibernation cycle. For many years we used this number sign for various reasons. Not much has changed. Relevant TED Talk. With more information on other symbols as well. Posted seven years ago. So pretty wild that any of those symbols could be from human-like species as opposed to outright Homo sapiens when that probably wouldn't have been thought of by most in the audience even. Some species of dolphins have a higher EQ than Homo naledi. EQ alone doesn't mean much but, if the discovery is credible it is still pretty extraordinary. What if we aren't currently smart enough to accurately rank the EQ of an extinct Homo species? Maybe Homo naledi had a higher EQ than we think they did. EQ, in this case refers to encephalization quotient which, in plain English, is the ratio of brain size to body size. It's definitely something paleontologists can estimate. Now, how exactly does relative brain size impact intelligence? Hard to say much more than it seems in harmonin species, ever-growing brain seems to correlate with growing intelligence. Does that also apply to cetaceans? Who the hell knows? It's not a comparison, implication I'd make, personally. Brain size by volume, weight isn't as important as plump gyri and deep sulci. In other words, invaginations of the brain, the surface area. Folding leads to a lot of good things in the physical world. I'm not a genius by far, but I've met a fair number, even, folding. Numbers and ratios is an actual, studied, thing. So, yeah, brain invaginations, gotta love, m, edit, I forgot to mention that Neanderthals had bigger brains than later hominids, but, wiping away tears, not enough wrinkles, less social complexity and evidence technology. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.